you, Mr. Kelly. As promised, this was a long and well worthwhile hearing. We learned a great many things that both we and the public were not aware of. We didn't have an opportunity to hear from witnesses who had genetic links that they could see in their own families. We certainly did not hear from the witnesses who are women who recognize in their own lives that the under evaluation because of perhaps differences in behavior between men and women lead there to be a discrepancy in recognition and a discrepancy in perceived challenge to women versus men. We certainly learned that the State of Utah has found a way to identify differently or better or more than other states. We certainly learned that, in fact, a passive discovery system is not going to get us or any other country in the world to an accurate number or to seek out people we could help and help early. This and more will be things that this committee will continue working on as part of the legacy of my predecessor, Mr. Dan Burton, uh, for many years. There is nothing we heard today that is off limits for us to continue to explore. This committee stands ready to take your additional comments and questions as promised. There is a C-SPAN audience. We may perhaps get additional letters. We will try to include those in the, in the record whenever possible. The lastly, I don't believe we covered every interest group either with our witnesses or here today. So because there are so many organizations involved that want to be heard, I would only ask all of you, when you work with other organizations or groups of individuals, that you explain to them that this committee will have a permanent staffing, at least as long as I'm chair, to try to continue to consolidate information and to get government to do its job more effectively, more efficiently, and if at all possible, find additional funds to continue dealing with all aspects of this disease. And with that, this committee stands adjourned.
get the safety. One of the witnesses on this last panel, uh, the co-founder of Autism Speaks, Bob Wright, has written an editorial in the Huffington Post today uh, where he calls for a commitment to diagnosing children with autism at no later than 18 months of age. Uh, today, the average age of diagnosis is five years old.